Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management. We're continuing with the grouping of videos on seven tools of quality, and today we're going to be talking about histograms. Basically, a histogram is just a graphical representation of the variation or distribution of data. So what we're doing is we're taking data, put it into categories, and then we're making a chart. So when we use histograms, we try and decide, can we see the shape of a data's distribution? Is it normally distributed? Uh, is there any kind of bias or skewness to it? Do we need to compare the outputs across processes? For example, do we need to take a look at one production line versus another and take a look at the output to see whether they're roughly the same? Another thing about histograms is all the data on them must be numerical. We can't use anything like colors or people or things like that. What we want to do is take a look at numerical data and we want to see once it's categorized the shape of that data. So here's a sample histogram for a call center. And as you can see, across the bottom, we've got categories of the numbers of minutes on hold, 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3, and so forth. And then on the y-axis, we are showing the number of customers willing to wait for those particular minutes. And now you can see that this is roughly a normally distributed uh, distribution of data because it's roughly bell-shaped with the peak in the center. And as you can see, all of these bars are right next to each other. We've categorized the data so that we're checking between one and two minutes, two and three minutes, three and four, and we're just checking to see the frequency for each of these categories. So in other words, it's also like graphically representing a frequency distribution. So when we look at a histogram, we notice that the shape of the data provides insight into the process producing the data. A bell curve is going to show a normal distribution. If we have a tail to the right or left, that indicates some kind of skewness to the data. If we end up with a rectangular shape, it indicates that there's a uniform distribution. So by looking at the distribution of the data, we have a sense for what kind of process we have. When we build a histogram, we can do it in Excel. We enter data by category. So if we're looking at the diameter of a hole, we have all of these categories, less than 10 centimeters, between 10 and 11, 11 and 12, and so forth. And we're calculating the frequency for each of these particular categories. Notice none of these categories will overlap so that they are distinct one from another. From this, we then plot it in using uh, the chart tools and we select the column chart and then we edit it to reduce the gap between the columns and also to provide titles. So creating a histogram is fairly simple. We are actually taking a frequency distribution of data. We're graphing it to see the shape of it. Next time, we'll be talking about another tool. I'll see you then.